there's a picture in my heart. It's been there for a while, and I believe it actually represents many of us in our congregation. It's of a person who's locked into a position that's looking down and away, pulled by something that just won't let them go, even though something else is trying to get their attention. They may look for a minute, but they're pulled down. You know, 2 Timothy 2 says, suffer hardship as a good soldier. No active soldier entangles himself in the issues of everyday life in order to please the one that enlisted him. See, the truth is that in this life, there will always be challenges. So if challenges are the thing that we allow to consistently prevent us from fully focusing on God and doing what he says, there will always be something that the enemy can use to deter us. You know, without knowing it, many of us may be waiting for our situations to change to fully give our attention to God and what he's calling us to. Like the third seed in Mark 4, we allow the thorns and cares of life to tangle us up, hold us down, and prevent us from bearing fruit. But maybe what we need won't be found until we demagnetize from our problems and push back against our battles, monopolizing our perspective and our focus. Don't get me wrong. Our Father, He's good. He's the Good Shepherd. And he sees, he knows, and he cares. He wants us to face the facts and bring our burdens to him, but he also wants us to lay them down and exchange them for what he has to offer. He also wants us to have the resilience to make him the priority, to walk in purpose and to seek first his kingdom, even while we wait for answers to our prayers. How do we do that? By keeping our eyes on him and receiving his peace, his perspective, and his strength. That's what week two of this consecration is all about. Psalm 19 says, the instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. It goes on later to say that the commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. You know, this week what we're gonna do is take all of the battles, all the things we're facing, our, our lives, the questions we have, our families, the healing that we're seeking, all of our life situations, we're gonna take them to the Lord and allow Him to speak. You know, some of us, we may hear that we're coming out of what we've been in. Others of us, we may hear that we need to endure. But either way, I believe that God wants to revive, instruct, and give insight that reminds us that God's got us and He is attending to the things that concern us. So a few things as we navigate this week. First, starting 6 p.m. on Sunday, we are on a Daniel fast. Just a quick note about that. You know, the dietary guidelines this week and next week may not be appropriate for every person or situation. Please, please feel free to adjust them or amend them as your doctor requires or as needed based on your health requirements. You know, the key is to maintain a heart to do absolutely everything you can to press into God, sacrifice what He is asking for, and connect with Him as deeply as possible. So regarding our connection, what we want to do is continue to be intentional about making time to seek God through our worship, the Word, and we want to continue pushing away any non-Christian electronics and entertainment. And I just want to clarify, we've had a few conversations in our first week, I want to clarify what we're doing. The key is not just putting everything away and sitting down all day and not doing anything. In a lot of ways, what we need to do is learn replacement therapy, take what we're used to consuming and we're replacing it with something else that's building us up and drawing us near. So what we're trying to do is build new habits and defaults that stay with us even after this consecration is over. So find other Christian media, find a, a book on a certain topic that you believe the Lord wants you to grow in or understand. Even for our, for our families, there's times where we find Christian entertainment uh, to watch with our children, things that teach them biblical principles, whatever it is, we want to make sure that what we are consuming is something that's biblically sound and that's made to, to help us learn, draw closer, or to build us up, okay? So what you can do uh, while you're seeking God is also use what I call the out is not it mentality. And some of the questions that we covered at the end of that message, what am I coming out from? What am I coming out to? What am I coming out for? And what am I coming out with? And so what you want to do is take all the different situations that are really weighing on you list them out and say, for each one of them, let me ask these questions. God, what are you trying to teach me to, to leave behind? What are you trying to teach me that you're taking me to? Why are you taking me to that? What is it for? And what will I be equipped with even as I come out of this, this trial? And I believe that as we do that, we have our sight on what God promised. Again, I just want us to understand and remember the 
the importance of this week's focus. We are seeking God and asking God to help us avoid focusing on our issues at the expense of focusing on Him. You know, it's what we focus on that often becomes magnified or larger in our eyes. So it's really focusing on Him that's the thing that will position us to see our mountains move, not focusing on our mountains. So what God is saying to us is, turn to me, not it. Don't allow the thing to continue to hold you back. I'm calling you to some things. I'm trying to get your attention. I'm calling you higher. I'm calling you deeper. So focus on me, not it. Lastly, I just want to encourage everybody. We have Encounter on Sunday night, and it's going to launch us into the final week of this consecration. Come out uh, 6.30 on Sunday night for Encounter and, and be launched into the final week of this consecration. I pray that you are being built up. I pray that you are hearing and experiencing new things in God. I pray that you continue to become stronger and stronger as we progress in this consecration so all of us can get everything that God has for us through this time. God bless you.